Some of us are like, look at all my fruit. And we got like these long branches like, oh yeah, check it out. Those look good, don't they? We, we, and then we turn around and go, look at that, look at that side. I'm going to give you every angle. Look at all the angles of the fruit. And the vine dresser comes along and says, dang, this, this branch right here is providing too much shade for the other branches. It's, it's what happens. I didn't make this stuff up. The vine dresser's like, dang, there's only one branch here. I wonder if I got rid of this one or pruned it, these other four here produced, let's see, that would be a couple hundred percent more fruit than what I have right now. It might not be your fruit, but at least it's more fruit for him. Well, it's not mine. Remember, you're part of a vineyard. You're part of a family. And when someone else's victory, it's yours. And when you're victorious, so is everyone else. We've got to get out of this isolation kingdom mindset. So the vine dresser comes along today, the and there's a lot of shade here. Yeah, it's time to prune this one. And we're like, look at my fruit. And you're thinking, I took me 20 years to get here. And now I get to enjoy it for one week of my life. And God's like, yep, you have fun enjoying that for seven days? Great. <laughs> and you're like, ah! And you built an entire ecosystem around this. And all of a sudden you're like, I feel naked and I have no idea what's next. Well, I have news for you. That pruning was because he had more fruit in mind. Why don't you stand? Wow. Wow. So good. Look at your neighbor and say, we are not raisins, <laughs> but we are fruit. <laughs> okay, before we close, I need, to read, I need to read a couple more verses because I want to conclude on this. I told you throughout the morning, now afternoon, it's about bearing fruit and more fruit. But there's also something else that I think is equally important, and it's found in 9 through 11, verse 9 through 11. I'll read it to you. As the Father loved me, I also have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. Verse 11, this is what I want you to get. These things I have spoken to you that my joy may remain in you and that your joy may be full. So us bearing fruit and more fruit is to bring delight to the king. And as a result of bringing delight to the king, guess who walked out just as happy? Us. So we are designed to make fruit and to bear more fruit and to bring delight to the king so we can be, our joy can be full. So Father, I pray for everyone in this room that however this applies to us as a vineyard and as a branch, I pray that we'd walk out with a renewed sense, oh, this is much better than I expected. This is actually, God, you are fully in charge of this thing. And you're walking around taking care of business so we can produce more fruit. 